Hey, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy A12 46 tips and tricks. But if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified if you're already part of the crew. Salute. Alright guys, so the first one that I want to show you has to do with the notification panel. And all you have to do to actually get that to um, this notification panel, you there's a shortcut to get to it without reaching to the very top because the phone is tall. So just long hold the screen right here. Go to home settings. Then there should be an option here which says swipe down for the notification panel. So what you want to do is just swipe down with your finger and now you have access to that notification panel with the swipe of a finger. Now, another trick that I find really helpful is the pop-up window. Now you can be inside of an app and all you have to do is actually just go to the recent apps by swiping up. What you're gonna do is long hold the top and you're gonna look for open and pop-up view. And now you're gonna see that you have this actual app which is on the screen and you could see what I'm saying. You can resize it and everything like that but it pops over top of any other apps that you may be using. So you could use something else in the background. You could even minimize this, make it smaller. You know, you know what I mean? And then it gets smaller. So then you could you do, do Instagram underneath it. And then you can minimize this as well, maximize it. This is the minimize button where you can see it right here. And you can see that is really cool because when you want to see other things really quickly, um, you could have those shortcuts on your, your screen. You can open it up to a larger window too. Now this device is pretty large. So one thing I like doing is using the one-handed mode by swiping down from the bottom of the screen. Now you have to be in an app to do so. But when you swipe down right here from the bottom, it's going to actually minimize the screen you can get to your settings for one handed use right here. And you're going to notice that it does give you that option right there. It's just swipe down. You could do it with the button or with the navigation. Another thing that's pretty cool is this device does have game launcher. So all your games will be inside of this folder and how many however you have it will be here. And essentially you're going to have a really nice um, library for them. Actually, this optimizes the gameplay while you're in the game as well. So um, it just has some cool features inside of here. It stores all your game, gives you different rankings and things of that nature. But, um, you know, whenever you play a game, you're going to have this little mode where it'll basically give you the ability to open up games through here and basically have it better optimized when you're performing. And if you want to turn game mode off, just go to advanced features right here. And you will have the option right here where it says game launcher and you could turn that off or on, but it's a, you know, just a place to enhance your gameplay and have everything all in one place. Now, if you want to block a number, you'll have to go into settings and then go into phone settings right here at the top. It'll say block phone numbers and it'll say right here, block unknown hidden hidden numbers right here. You could turn that on, but you can also add like, different numbers that keep coming up on your phone that you don't want to answer to. Now I noticed this has been coming becoming a lot of um, a lot of people have been requesting how do you leave people on unread or how do you ghost people? So all you have to do is hit the three dots, go to settings, go to um, more settings right here. And you're going to see that we have the um, quick responses right there. But let me show you how to get to your, your block settings. Hold on. Um, <clears throat> so when you're in settings, you got to go to more settings right here. And then that's when you'll see um, multimedia messages. And this is where you're going to do it. So right here, it'll be turned on. I think it's going to be turned off by default, but you want to turn these both off where it says show when read and show when delivered because when you have those on, they can see when you're typing and when you've read the message. Now, this quick panel here at the top is actually pretty cool that has the letter N on it. So just hit that. What it does is if you go into it 
and you you could actually um, turn off the nav bar from there as well so you can see right here it says quick panel and what you, what you want to do is actually do that and turn that on because what's going to do is show the brightness on the top so when i click done now it's going to have the brightness right here at the top instead of all the way down below another thing that you should probably do is go into the privacy option on the phone and it's going to say um inside of there there's going to be an option where you can turn off the ads and things of that nature so just hit that right there and then what you want to do is turn off receive marketing information right here because then they're just going to send you that but then scroll all the way back down and then go to ads and then what you want to do is click opt out of personalized ads otherwise you're going to get a ton of those on your phone another thing that's pretty dope is that you don't have to download a vpn on here just so just go to connections because it's already inside of it and then once you're in the connections option here you can actually go into the um um let me show you all right so once you're in connections you go to more um connections right here down at the bottom and you're going to see vpn so what you want to do is hit that and then you're going to see samsung max vpn so i have adguard on here but they have this one on here as well and you can actually use the um, max um the samsung max data privacy vpn for free it's pretty cool too you just turn that on and it basically will um, be a virtual privacy network for your device another thing that's cool is that when you're in this device it does have a option where you can change the themes and th look into the theme store by hitting the galaxy store right here. now a lot of the things that are inside of here you do have to like pay for so just you know keep that in mind um it is a, like a, it's a store where they try to get money from it so everything in here is pretty much you know they're gonna ask you to pay like a dollar you know 99 cents things of that nature you can this one's free right here it's like a wood one uh wallpaper but um they have like a ton of different things on here like wallpapers themes um i'm gonna download this one because it's free and they have a bunch of other cool free wall free wallpapers here on as well but if you actually go to the themes which this thing has you can see that they have some icons as well which are also free so i would probably mess around with the free one all right guys another feature that i really do like is the fact that when you go into gallery you have the option right here into the settings option where you can create um either a collage or a slideshow so um what you can do is actually take th uh, three four photos right here and then hit this button where it says create collage now, I like to do this when I go on vacation or maybe if I'm if I have like a picture, take a photo shoot of somebody, you could collage the photos up and scale them in different ways. I think that's another really cool feature. And like I said, you could also. All right. So this part is actually pretty cool, because if you go to um, this option in advanced features, guys, there's going to be a ton of like hidden features inside here for advanced features. So you want to go to the option where it says, you know, emotions and gestures. Now, this is where you're going to get all the smart features for your device. You're going to get double tap to wake, lift to wake and smart stay as well. So turn all three of those on. Now, the lift to wake is when you lock the phone and then, you know, you lift it up. The phone will automatically. Um, it'll automatically awake, awaken when you when you lift it like that. So I think that's pretty cool. And then you also do have, you know, double tap to wake, which is pretty cool. So you could just double tap the phone. Let me see, did I turn that on yet? Oh, there it is. So you double tap it and then it wakes. So that's another thing that's pretty cool. But you also have smart stay as long as you're looking at the phone, uh, the, the, it'll stay on as well. You also do can activate the fingerprints uh, center gesture. Um, so when you do that, the, the you can actually slide down the notification with the fingerprint gesture on the side of the phone right here. So that's another cool tip as well. Another thing you're going to want to do is go to advanced features and go to remove, reduce animations. Now, when you go ahead and do that, you're going to notice that the phone is actually a lot zippier from point A to point B. So anything you're, whatever you're trying to do, it's going to do it in a faster, um, 
you know, sense of the imagination. So it's going to feel like it's moving quicker to the naked eye. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is that you can add the app tray button, which is not here. So all you have to do is long press, go to home screen and activate um, app button right here. Now, when you go back on your display, you'll see the app button right here. So you could just tap that to get to your app tray as well. Now, something that's cool is you can remap this power button and all you have to do is long hold it right here and it will say down below side key settings. So just go ahead, hit that. So right now, if you double press it, it's going to launch the camera. But if you want, you can open another app right here and it'll have it'll you can designate that app on the double press of the power button. So, for instance, they have flashlight right here um, and right here, you can see that if we lock it, then double press it's actually going to activate the flash now. Another thing that you want to do is go into the camera and get the option right here when you're in the camera to tag locations so you know where you took certain pics. I think that's something that's pretty cool, but you also want to add the watermark. So let's say you're taking a picture of something like this. When you go ahead and you look at the photo, it's going to tell you right here at the bottom, Samsung quad camera shot with my Galaxy A12. Another thing that you want to do is go into accessibility in settings. And what you want to do is click uh, the option where it's going to give you the notification reminders. So in order to get the notification reminders on your flash, when you're getting a notification, what you're going to want to do is go into the settings. So how do we get that done, guys? Well, check this out. All you have to do is hit advanced settings. And you're going to see right here that you can get notification reminders right here, but we could also get flash notifications. So just turn that on and this is what it looks like. Now in that same setting, advanced settings and accessibility, you can actually set the side volume keys right here. If you, um, the volume, and down key if you hold them at the same time for three seconds you can get to the voice assistant uh, which is pretty cool but you can also customize it to be anything that you want so you can make it be um, like the camera or anything of that nature but if I went ahead and did that right now it would be the voice assistant so let me just show you what that looks like one two three and then you can see right here that accessibility option, you have to activate that as well. And you could do the exact same thing for the power button and the side, the volume up key, where right here you could click it. You can make it a, once you turn it on, you can make it a universal switch or any of these features that you do see on the screen. In order to create a contact really quickly, all you do is long hold the phone icon right there. And you're gonna see Right here, it says create a contact. And that's the quickest way for me to actually create a contact. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, another thing is the screenshot feature, guys. You wanna get a screenshot on this device. Um, you can do so. All you have to do is long hold the power button and the volume rocker down. Like that. And then you're going to see that it took the screenshot. It'll allow you, you can allow it now. And so now here you get the options to um, do the scrolling screenshot right here. And now you can see you have two, um, a large screenshot right there that you can get into. And it's going to save that guys right here in your, your home screen. So now it says save your saved image. And now you could go ahead and you could look at that. You could edit it and you could even draw on it. Anything that you do so desire. Now, another thing that I wanted to do on here was make the volume buttons, uh, the zoom button, because a lot of the times you don't, you can't take a picture with these buttons, which is it's set out as default. So what you want to do is take a picture. You want to zoom with these buttons instead of taking a picture. So you go to shooting methods right here, and then you can actually click right here where it says press the volume key to zoom and now when you're in the camera mode it just feels natural to have that as the zoom because when you go ahead 
and you're looking at an image, you can just hit that. And it takes you to all the different zooms right there. And it's just a lot easier. You see what I'm talking about? Versus actually like putting your finger directly on the, the zoom button. This one actually is a little bit easier and you could even get to the wide angle. I just noticed when I hit that. It switches the wide angle too. That's crazy. Look, so that's pretty cool. Now this phone does have a way you can save battery on it. Just go down to where you're going to see the option right here where it says ultra savings um, power modes and then ultra data savings mode. So if you go to power savings mode, this is going to give you the option where you can, you, you can extend your battery life it will block apps from using data or your location in the background and that saves a lot of battery guys but if you wanted to go into ultra saving data mode this will actually background data would be automatically blocked by apps and you can allow specific apps to use it so i think that's something that's pretty sick now another thing is split screen mode let's say you're just watching a youtube video right here and on your screen you go to youtube but you wanna actually do something else at the same time, just swipe up so you can get your most recent apps window. And now when you're inside of it, all you have to do is long press on the window and hit split screen view, and then choose the other app that you were trying to get inside. So if you just wanna to get to the app real quick, you can see that you have a long list of options here. Now you can enter the, the split screen window and it lets you see the two different things at the same time. So you see the screen's cut in half. Um, I could pretty much do two things at once now. It takes up a quarter of the screen on one side or halfway right there. So you could put it dead center or you could just put it a quarter of the way too as well. Another thing is device care, guys. You wanna go inside of it where it says settings and go to device care in here. You're gonna be able to optimize your phone as far as the storage, battery, memory, and security as well. Um, this will allow you to get the most optimized performance and also check for viruses and you know crashed app detection, all types of stuff at the same time, as well as optimizing the performance of your app, the RAM on your device, and the battery at the same exact time as well. Another thing that's cool is when you take a screenshot, you can opt out of hiding the top of your window on your phone. So you could just hide status bar and nav bar so it doesn't show what's displayed up here, like the date, time, and day. And then also you can delete shared screenshots, automatically delete screenshots after they're shared through your screenshot toolbar as well. Go to accessibility and then go into hearing enhancements. And then once you're inside of that thing, you're going to get the option to customize the sound to your age group. So if you're in a certain age range, you can tailor the sound to your personal preference. And I definitely think that's going to be pretty cool. Also inside of hearing enhancements, you can mute all sounds on your phone or you can add the live transcript app which will allow you to transcribe sounds and things of that nature. So what you wanna go ahead and do is download the live transcribe and sound notifications app. Now the lock screen section of your phone is pretty cool. Make your way there. And what you're gonna notice is that you have this thing called face widgets right here. So this, this is pretty cool because when your screen is locked, you can view the music, the schedule, today's schedule and next alarm as well as weather and you can reorder them as well you can also change the clock face to match the one of your personal liking and you can see you could change the color to it and things of that nature so you have a lot of options there just to mess around with so i just think that's pretty cool that you know if you don't like it green you could make it black things of that that nature you could change the type right here so it'll show up on your home screen in a different form or fashion but it always gives you that option to change it as well now while you're inside of it customize your contact info you're going to put your personalized info here i usually just put my name there because if someone finds your phone lost they're probably not gonna give it back, but you know, there are some nice people out here still. 
The next thing is to go to display and make sure that the screen timeout is set at less than 30 seconds because if you do it for like less than a minute, it's gonna be messing you up when you're trying to get information, but the screen is gonna lock too soon. And also in display, you can change light or dark theme depending on whether it's daylight or night light night time out to help you adjust to the um, the daylight and night time with your eyesight. But you can also access right here nav bar. So if you prefer the old school buttons, you can change them to that style of you know, or you could keep it at the gestures option, which I do prefer the most because it has the side scrolls and you get the most screen real estate. And while we're in display, just look for full to screen, full screen apps. Make sure that all your games and things of that nature are turned on to the full screen app. So that way, when you're gaming, you can enjoy the full game on the whole screen and even Netflix as well. OK, guys, go back into settings and go to notifications and make sure that you go down and actually it's going to be in the option where it says status bar so we're going to locate status bar in notifications guys and once we find status bar this is where we can show the battery percentage so you can see right there at the top right hand corner that's how you get the battery percentage to show up on your phone now another thing that you might want to take advantage of is the sounds uh, adobe atmos on here guys so you can see right here we do have Dolby atmos you would need to actually plug in a pair of headphones to get that started. But one of the things you don't need to get started is the custom equalizer. You can customize the sound right here. This is usually with a bass and tremolo are, and you can change all of the different, uh, you know, that, that you could change the sound signature to match your personal sound profile preferences. Okay. So, Inside of the camera, guys, there's going to be an option called Deco Pick, which is kind of cool. Go here. It's kind of hidden at the top, but it's going to have all these different things that you can mess around with with your face, like masks, frames, stamps. Um, you can kind of play around with those. Look, if you wanted to take a, a photo with something like on here, you do have that option. It's got some frames on here, some mess around with those masks. I thought this one was kind of sick. You could just, you know, mess around with people kind of troll them and things of that nature. Um, you also do have GIFs. So if you wanted to add some animated GIFs on the screen, <laughs> this is kind of cool. You know what I'm talking about? So I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, you probably could be able to download more and stuff like that, but that's another cool feature as well. Another thing that I noticed that they added on here was message categories. So you could click here at the right hand corner to the three dots and hit settings. And then once you hit settings, they got this thing called conversation categories. So you actually can hit that. And then right here, you'll get this other um, option, which will, you can see new category. Now you can add categories to all of your conversations and actually, instead of having them all in the same window, it has them categorized. So you could put business, you could put friends, family, work, everything of that nature. But I hope you guys found these 46 tips and tricks helpful for the A12 from Samsung. If you did, then give um, this video a big like and show your support and appreciation. And I'll get right back with you later, crew. Peace.